Hello, this is a video about what to expect from TSW. Expect hell and pain and suffering. That's just the uh, fun part. Uh, the first week was okay. And it was the calm before the storm. Obviously my body still had the effects of using corticosteroids. So um, the first week wasn't too bad. And I wish I had prepared myself in that first week. So after about a week or 10 days that's when i truly was dropped into hell and i had red skin syndrome come across about 80 percent of my body you i went into a flight fight freeze situation headspace where i was having huge cortisol dumps and i was terrified all the time i had swollen joints very swollen body all over, insomnia, intense rubbing sessions where trying to kind of get at my bones. You have a bone deep itch, rashes, about three or four different types of rashes as well as the red, red, red skin. My hair started falling out on my arms, um, under my arms, the hair on my head. You're in an extreme stressful situation. It's terrifying and you need to prepare yourself for for hell. You'll have a pain that kind of go, goes from the bones all the way out. My skin was weeping. It was bleeding in, in certain areas, so like behind my knees and my elbows and around my neck. A kind of orange fluid that would come out and also um, dark black blood. I also went into a deep depression obviously just dealing with the the effects of TSW sent me into a depression where not just the kind of pain of the physicality of things that are going on the confusion and I also felt extremely depressed didn't want to leave the bed and obviously it hurt to move I had um, hallucinations and stuff like that as well which probably comes from insomnia not sleeping for three or four days on the bounce you're going to go into some weird places psychologically so what can you do um, to combat this? Routines are vitally important and it wasn't until two or three weeks in which I actually got into a bedtime routine which speeds up the healing process incredibly. Once you can start getting some sleep, everything takes a turn for the better. My routine was bathing with binaural beats, then having my partner applying moisturizer to the worst parts of my body it's something very soothing about having someone else do it when i was doing it obviously i was kind of rubbing and it, it was a kind of detrimental process um after getting myself into that calm state obviously if you're going through this alone um terribly sorry and um, please comment or um, reach out to someone and get some help because you're going to need it then applying bandages, which I didn't actually do for many weeks. I wish I had started doing it immediately at the start. These bandages I would put on my neck and backs of my legs and my elbows were the places where I was mostly just bleeding from. In those first week or so before I realised about the bandages, obviously my bed was terrible we've had to throw away sheets and buy new sheets and we're constantly changing sheets and that's something that you'll have to do and get used to i swapped out all of my clothes for soft for me it's mostly bamboo clothing and towels and anything that kind of touches on your body especially when you get to the dry stage which i know a lot of people do no, no moisture treatment i i couldn't do that it was too much to think about how much water i was taking in on top of everything don't look in the mirror because that can trigger you to have a stress response you're not going to like what you see breath work just look up breath work or yoga breath work i was doing vim hof or tumo breathing and then going into a meditation after that the tumo breathing for me is about getting control of my cortisol levels because it actually puts you in a stress response and then you can kind of manage your way out of it. So I was taking more control over my own stress. After doing that for a half an hour, an hour, I could eventually get into a calm 
state where I could start really meditating and getting the full benefits of meditation. There's loads of guided meditation practices online. You're going to need that for your cortisol dumps that you're going to start having and feeling in your body and also kind of managing your introspection and a whole other bunch of things um, that meditation helps with. It's good to, if you can have someone kind of check over your body, take photos and monitor different types of rashes. I had Virtually every single rash you could think of, um, raised, bumps, dark rashes. The important thing to know is that this phase will pass and then you're going to the dry phase, which is in itself um, a whole nother thing to deal with. For depression though, you should always, I think, get out of bed, even if you just make it to the couch and you're just on the couch for a few hours. That is an important movement, I think. Getting sleep wherever you can and supplementation for sleep. I know a lot of people take melatonin. You can't really get that in the UK. So I took L-theanine, which um, enhances your GABA and it puts you in a calm state. I found that very beneficial to try and get some sleep or 5-HTP. Another thing that I took to get to sleep. Get to bed early. Try and get sleep as much as possible. I was lucky in some way to go through this during a pandemic and my work were very generous with me to give me time off i was going to bed at six o'clock five o'clock some days uh, saw somewhere on the internet that your skin is the best healing hours are between eight and twelve so i was always trying to get sleep for eight when you're suffering from insomnia sometimes this is impossible you're just laying there for hours and that can become very frustrating which is why you're going to have to get very good at meditating and very good at breath work and different practices that you can do when you're laying in bed and you can't move and you're in a lot of pain. Being able to disassociate in, in some ways is very helpful. I took a whole bunch of other supplements to try and get my, my body as healthy as possible. And vitamin D, probiotics, folic acid. I took collagen, obviously, for the skin is very helpful. Omega freeze. Be careful not to double dose. Be careful always kind of like check what you're taking, get it from a good source. Examine.com is a fantastic resource. If you go on there, you can check any any kind of supplement and they will give you a breakdown of, of what it's good for and stuff. You know, don't take my word for it, check, check everything. A massive game changer for me, which came very late and I'd wish I'd taken it uh, much earlier is zinc. I use this Burt's Bees diaper ointment with vitamin E because it's all natural. Before that, CBD oil was incredible for me because I plastered it all over, or my partner plastered it all over my body. It is very expensive and I did rinse through money um, fighting this thing with bandages and be prepared that if you want to alleviate your suffering, it's going to cost money. Obviously therapy and all sorts of things. I didn't get a lot of help with the NHS. No one knew what was going on. But yeah, the CBD and before that I was using a product called Cetrabem. Worked very well initially but then became painful and and didn't work so well and actually as soon as when i switched to the cbd i noticed that i was able to get to sleep a lot quicker and easier and i was also much more calm and it, it had an immediate effect on my skin it started healing my skin a lot quicker and the zinc oxide even quicker than that so yeah supplements moisturizers i didn't do the no moisture treatment as, as i've said it's i couldn't bear the thought of of being dehydrated but please check out no moisture treatment there's plenty of people who, who swear by it and check scratch that and it's an it's very hard to find studies on tsw but i will sh put links i'll post links to everything that i found that was helpful that has advice on how to treat TSW or at least what to expect and, and the symptoms and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, that was a rushed version of events and I hope that you can kind of take some key bits and pieces from there. Thank you very much and good luck.